of God and not have the God of the angel. Mm. And um, I supported that, uh, I would want just to call it an idea. It is an established truth. When I gave you uh, a scripture, not in the Old Testament, but in the New Testament, because this was soon after Jesus was raised from the dead. That's one. And we had the presence of two angels that were standing at the tomb. Mm -hmm. And those that came searching for Jesus, mm -hmm. uh, failed, they could not find Jesus. Mm -hmm. And the reason why they couldn't find him is because he was raised from the dead. And the fact that he was raised from the dead uh, was also the reason why they couldn't find him anymore mm -hmm. in the grave. Mm -hmm. So frankly speaking, you can agree with me that Jesus was now absent. Indeed. Confirmed by what the angels of God said, he is not yeah. here. So you have the angel of God that is present, but he is telling you that the God that you're searching for is not present. He's not here. Yes, sir. So that confirms that as a very solid truth that in as much as you can have the angel of God, you still have to go further and descend the presence of God. They said he is not here. Yet the angels were there. Mm -hmm. So talk about the angel, mm -hmm. the presence of the angels of God. It was it was there. Yes. But the presence of Jesus, Jesus wasn't there. Mm -hmm. Yes, well. So what were they doing outside of the presence of God? Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's for another time again, <laughs> but uh, they were present where Jesus wasn't. Absent. But if you study that scripture, you will realize that at the time these two angels appeared, hmm. they were shining. Hmm. So glorious. Wow. Magnificent. Hmm. There was so much light in the place and yet Jesus wasn't present. Mm -hmm. Hence, I promised that I would need more time to share on, uh, I, would, I would call it the deceptiveness of, of, the, of the gifts. Mm -hmm. uh, because the fact that Jesus wasn't present did not stop the angels from shining they were shining mm. so glorious <laughs> yet jesus wasn't present so you can find yourself in a place like that where the gift is at work mm. shining so bright mm. yet that is not proof that jesus is there is present <laughs> And I said, there are people who are highly gifted and on top of their gifting, they've become so skilled in <laughs> exhibiting the gifts of the, of the Holy Spirit to an extent where you won't have an opportunity after they've demonstrated the power of God to you to further investigate and to want to find out whether God is in a place or not. You don't have any energy left. No, you, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I even used to think that with the prophetic, you, you can't prophesy unless God is present. Because <sighs> I used to think that everything that the prophet is hearing is what God is saying until I realized that most of what the prophet can hear is what God would have said. Wow. 
at we please, 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 can you, can you, can you? <laughs> would want to hear that again, please. I really was not planning to spend more time on this today, but just a few minutes and then And then, and then we call it off. But uh, yes, that's a very, very, very strong area that needs serious consideration. We have to look into that. Because even when God has departed, there are things that you can still do for God, though without Him. I said the presence of God comes in different forms mm. and God manifests in different ways mm. to different people. Yes. But the problem with most of the believers or Christians is that that one side of God that God has chosen to reveal himself to them, there is a tendency of thinking that that is all there is to that God. And people try to establish a doctrine mm. over one experience. Yay. Mm. Yay. And when they come across another person who has encountered the different dimension of God, mm. there is a fight, there is a conflict. Wow. Mm. It will end up sounding as though we are preaching a different mm. God or three different gods, or five different gods, mm. and yet it is the same God with different manifestations to different people. Yes. Again, depending on your level of understanding. Uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> your level of understanding The only time that God visits you um, and not really concerned about your knowledge or your understanding is when he's ready to educate you, even to give you a different language that you have never learned before. Wow. Like the way he came at Pentecost and the Holy Spirit made them to speak mm -hmm. in other languages which were not theirs. Mm -hmm. But uh, under normal circumstances, you need information that precedes an experience. If God visits you and he manifests himself before you had knowledge, mm -hmm. then immediately after the experience, you need to consult an informed person who can interpret to you those experiences. Wow. Um, mm. <sighs> I've got so many things to share with you here. Thank you, Father. You see, Let's, let's read that same scripture, Exodus 33. Remember what I said last time? I said the angel that you see in chapter 23 of the book of Exodus is different from the angel mm. that you see in chapter 33. Mm. Two different angels. Yes, sir. If I had time, I would explain to mm. you their difference. Mm. But look at verse number three. Exodus 33, verse number 3. Exodus 33, verse 3. Mm -hmm. Unto a land flowing with milk and honey. Mm. For I will not go up in the midst of thee. Mm -hmm. For thou art a stiff-necked people, mm. lest I consume thee in the way. So God is saying to his people, Instead of 
me going with you into the promised land, the land that I have given to your forefathers as a promise. Yes, I will have to substitute my presence with an angel that I will send, not the devil, mm. but I will send an angel. Yeah. And when you see that angel arriving, you know, that's me. I've sent him. He is carrying my assignment. Mm. I've told him <laughs> and he has obeyed. Mm. So you have an angel which is not operating in disobedience, but in obedience. Mm -hmm. Yet he doesn't carry the presence of God. Mm. I will send an angel that will go before you into the land that flows with milk and honey. So the fact that you have seen an angel of God arriving, having been sent by God, it means this angel is an obedient angel and yet still he is not representing the presence of God the presence of God God is saying I would let, let's 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 keep that in mind whichever way whichever formula that God is implying here or employing here you are not going to have the presence of God going with the people of Israel Mm -hmm. So God cannot say, my presence shall not go with you. And then he gives them an angel with his presence. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So in as much as the angel was obedient, mm -hmm. still he wasn't representing the presence of God. And I touched on something which is very important. I think it's necessary that we remind the people yes, of that part where God said, he will bring you into the land of the Jebusites, of the Hevites, mm. of the Canaanites. Mm. And then he will help you possess the land. So by that angel, what you will have is the land. Mm -hmm. What you will have by reason of that angel is the milk and the honey. Mm -hmm. Every material possession you will acquire by reason of the presence of that angel that doesn't represent my, my presence. Mm. Yeah. And then he goes on to say, after Moses had pleaded with him, he said, if you don't go with us, don't let us depart from here. Mm. Until God said, anyway, now my presence shall go with you and mm. I will give you rest. rest. Mm. An important aspect. Mm. With the angel of God that doesn't represent his presence, yes. you get the cash. You get the houses, you get the wells, you get the land, the milk, the honey, every material blessing that you can think of by reason of the angel that doesn't represent him. You can have those. Ha! But Moses said, unless you go with us, and God said, my presence now shall go with you and I will give you not just the land, not just the money, mm -hmm. not just nice cars, mm -hmm. but while you are driving the car, you will find rest by reason of my presence. Wow. Having built.